Welcome to G. Lee Gallery, home of the most unique artwork in Galveston and the island's best history tour. It says so right there on the side. It must be true. Come on in here and I'll tell you about it. This is the gallery, 2215 Post Office Street, where three is a crowd. Now, in the front, we have the beautiful work of Georgia Lysing and her custom-made jewelry. But as we come back here, this is the home of resident artist George Douglas Lee. That's me. These are my paintings on the walls, OK? Over here, children's books I wrote and illustrated, music CDs, you name it, prints, the whole smear. Vinyl album made in 1982. However, we're talking about Galveston history. And right there is a projector. And right there behind that big painting, it's a wide screen where you come in and you watch a documentary film. And I'm telling you, it's well done. The director helped James Cameron on the Titanic, so the underwater scenes are great, which of course, on September 8th, 1900, Galveston was underwater. In fact, this building was built in 1885, and the water was far above my head at that time. And you see, it's told in real time, based on the book about Isaac Klein, who was the weatherman in 1900. And you feel like you're there. Well, you know what? I don't want to give the whole thing away. Come on. It's $25 per person. We watch the film, which I assure you, you will not forget. And then we go right back the entrance to the exit. And there is our chariot, 1997 Mustang convertible. And that is how I'm going to try to walk backwards. That is how we tour the east end of the island where it's always been. That's always been the nerve center. We're right at the tip. And we're talking about an event where between six and 12,000 died and, well, I don't want to give away anymore. What happens is we get in the car right here. If you're a beautiful blonde, you can sit on the back and pretend to be homecoming queen. Otherwise, Take my advice, history is nice, but a plan 